so the mayor of Springfield, Ohio, Rob Rue, said, quote, all these federal politicians that have negatively spun our city, they need to know they're hurting our city. And it was their words that did it. Before Donald Trump talked about eating dogs and cats on a debate stage, it was you, Senator, who first elevated this baseless rumor. Dana Bash, a chief political correspondent for CNN, has long been a respected figure in American journalism. Known for her sharp insights and tireless coverage of major political events, her career has often placed her in the public eye. But beyond her professional accomplishments, her personal life, including high-profile marriages and divorces, has garnered significant attention. Today, we're taking a closer look into the moments that led to her separations and how they intersected with her remarkable career. Early Life and Career Beginnings Dana Bash, born Dana Ruth Schwartz on June 15, 1971, in Montvale, New Jersey, was raised in a family deeply connected to journalism and media. Her father, Stuart Schwartz, was a senior broadcast producer at ABC News, while her mother, Frances, was an educator and author. Growing up surrounded by conversations about politics and news, it's no surprise that she eventually found herself on a similar path. Quote, I learned very early on that the news was not just something on TV, she once said. It was my father's life's work, and it became a part of mine, too. She attended Pascack Hills High School before pursuing a journalism degree at George Washington University. During her time in college, she interned at NBC, CBS, and CNN. These early internships helped shape her approach to the political reporting world and set the stage for her future. After graduating in 93, she quickly joined CNN, initially taking on a low-profile role as a producer for the network's weekend programs. Her early years saw her working behind the scenes on Capitol Hill as a CNN producer covering the U.S. Senate. Her ability to connect with political figures and break important news stories made her stand out. These formative years were instrumental in establishing her reputation within the network. Career Growth Dana Bash's career at CNN blossomed in the years following her time as a producer. She transitioned from working behind the camera to becoming an on-air talent, where her reporting and analytical skills shined. Her coverage of significant political events, including multiple presidential elections, cemented her status as a top political correspondent. Over the years, she's become known for her insightful interviews with key political figures and her ability to break down complex political dynamics for the broad audience. One of her most notable career highlights came during the 2012 presidential election, where Bash's in-depth coverage of both parties' campaigns provided viewers with critical insights. Her work was praised for its depth and fairness, with many in the political world recognizing her commitment to journalistic integrity. Reflecting on her role in political journalism, Bash said, quote, The privilege of reporting on our democracy is something I've never taken lightly. It's a responsibility, but it's also a passion. Her status as one of CNN's leading political correspondents only grew, with frequent appearances on shows like State of the Union and Inside Politics. She was also instrumental in CNN's coverage of Capitol Hill, where her access to key lawmakers and insiders allowed her to report on the intricate details of the legislative process. Personal Life Marriage to Jeremy Bash But I will submit to you, and I think most Pentagon leaders agree, that the hardest threat to defeat is an insider, the insider threat. In 1998, Dana Bash married Jeremy Bash, a man whose career in national security brought additional complexity to their high-profile relationship. Jeremy, a Harvard Law graduate, had a rising career in national defense, serving as the chief of staff at both the CIA and the Department of Defense under President Obama. His impressive credentials and deep involvement in the nation's security apparatus put him in the public eye, though in a different realm than his wife. The marriage was initially seen as a power union between two people deeply embedded in the world of politics and security. While their careers often placed them at the heart of Washington's most pressing issues, their personal life appeared more private. However, the pressures of their high-stakes careers likely played a role in their eventual split. They divorced in 2007 after nearly a decade of marriage. Dana has spoken little publicly about the reasons behind the divorce, choosing to keep much of her personal life out of the spotlight. But it's clear the separation came at a pivotal time for both of their careers. One of the more controversial moments linked to Jeremy Bash post-divorce came in 2020 
when he signed a letter to Politico alongside other intelligence officials casting doubt on the authenticity of the Hunter Biden laptop story. The letter claimed that the story had the, quote, hallmarks of Russian disinformation, a statement that has since been criticized by political commentators. Divorce from Jeremy The divorce between Dana Bash and Jeremy Bash came as a surprise to many. At the time, Bash was already a well-known face on CNN, while Jeremy continued his rise in prominence within national security circles. Their split in 2007 occurred quietly, without much public commentary from either party. Dana has always maintained a certain level of privacy with her personal life, and the reasons for her divorce remain largely speculative. For Dana, the divorce marked a turning point. Her career continued to soar, and she remained a prominent figure in political journalism. There was no public animosity between the two, and they both seemed to move forward without much drama, a testament to their professionalism and mutual respect. Relationship and marriage to John King. Um, let me ask you, uh, a lot of people think that, you know, most journalists are too self-centered to be romantic. Dana, <laughs> is John the exception to that rule? Very much so, and we'll keep it at that. Not long after her divorce from Jeremy Bash, Dana Bash found herself in the midst of another high-profile relationship with fellow CNN journalist John King. Their romance blossomed behind the scenes at CNN, where the two were colleagues covering Capitol Hill and often appeared together on political broadcasts. King, already a well-known face at the network, with his role as the host of Inside Politics, and Bash seemed like a natural pairing. Their shared passion for political reporting brought them together, and the relationship quickly became a topic of interest among their colleagues and viewers alike. In 2008, they made headlines when they married. The wedding was particularly notable as King, who was raised Roman Catholic, converted to Judaism before the ceremony out of respect for Bash's faith. The gesture was a significant personal decision that reflected the depth of their commitment to one another. Speaking about their relationship in a rare interview, Bash once remarked, we were colleagues first and foremost. It's what drew us together, but it also kept us grounded. In 2011, the couple welcomed their son Jonah into the world. The birth of their child added a new dynamic to their already busy lives, but they both embraced parenthood while continuing their demanding careers. But despite the joy of their growing family, cracks began to show in their marriage. By 2012, just a year after Jonah's birth, Dana Bash and John King decided to separate. The divorce was amicable, and both parties have been careful to maintain a respectful public image in the years since. Quote, We have great respect for each other, both personally and professionally, Bash stated in a rare comment about their split. Their continued presence on CNN meant they had to navigate life as ex-spouses and colleagues, a challenge they managed with grace. Post-divorce career Following her divorce from John King, Dana has continued to cement her legacy, as one of CNN's top political correspondents. Her personal life may have taken unexpected turns, but her professional life remained rock solid. Bash became even more prominent within the network, taking on larger roles in political coverage, including anchoring special election night broadcasts and interviewing key political figures. She has often downplayed the impact of her personal life on her career, stating that her primary focus has always been journalism. Quote, I've been through a lot in my personal life, but my work is where I've always found my strength. This resilience allowed her to continue thriving at CNN, even as the network faced its own challenges in the ever-evolving media landscape. Her role as a mother has become a significant part of her life during this period. Balancing the demands of a high-pressure career with the responsibilities of parenthood was no easy feat. But Bash managed to maintain her professional standing while ensuring that her son Jonah remained her top priority. Now it's time to hear from you. Who's your favorite news anchor? Let us know in the comments section below.